Rack and a beautiful sky over Idaho right now. You go a little, just a little bit to the south. It starts to cloud up and look at that little storm down in northern Utah, bringing with it some rain, some snow in the mountains. Salt Lake City this afternoon, it was snowing for a little bit and it looks like the snow is spreading towards the west over northern Nevada. You're thinking, okay, are we going to get some of that? All we're really getting some raggedy edges of it, some cloud cover. So you get a little south of Pocatello, it starts to cloud up a little bit. And those clouds will actually dissipate as we get well into the evening. We had high pressure building in over Washington, so it's keeping this to our south. And we'll continue to kind of help push it even farther towards the south and southeast tomorrow. So. Yeah, we're not going to get any of that. Uh, this evening, no, we'll be a little wet. If you're going to go down uh, into Utah, I-15, Wasatch Front, you may want to take your umbrella with you. In fact, it is cooler in Salt Lake City right now than it is in Idle Falls. Wow, 40? Usually Idle Falls is a lot cooler. Even colder than Pocatello. It is a little bit colder than Gate City right now with a temperature there of 40. Pocatello at 43. We're at 38 in Elko and then warmer. Look at that warmer. 50s in Boise, Pendleton, Burns, Lewiston, and even Seattle. Not too shabby with high pressure over the top of them. No rain. Yeah, they don't need the umbrella for a little while at least. Clear sky for the Snake River Plain tonight. Temperatures will drop down to the teens in the upper plain, lower plain, upper teens, lower 20s. A little bit on the cold side, just that dry air and we are looking at that clear sky, it just allows the temperatures to really drop off. Central Mountains, we're back down below zero in Stanley, although not minus eight, we'll be minus three tonight. Nine above, expecting lead or Mackey, you're looking at a low of 15. Look at all those below zeros for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. Just in case you missed that. Yeah, you missed that cold, bitter cold, there you go. Dregs, five below. Island Park, minus one. Six below in Afton. And we got a mostly clear sky over the southeastern corner. A little cloudy this evening, but those clouds, as I mentioned earlier, will work their way out overnight. Southeast Highlands, not a bad way to end the work week. High temperatures for a lot of us will be in the 40s. For the upper highlands in western Wyoming, most of us will be in the 30s. And for the central mountains, most of us too will see high temperatures in the 40s again. Sunny, just like it was today, and a sunnier day expected for the Snake River Plain. Pocatello up to 50. Idaho Falls, your high 44. Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer 7-day forecast. Look at the warm-up through the weekend. Don't forget the time change. You want to set your clocks ahead one hour before you go to bed on Saturday. And you may need your umbrella, but looks like if we get any precipitation at all Tuesday and Wednesday, it will be in the form of rain showers. Looks like Idaho Falls, we got sunshine. It'll take us all the way through the weekend. A couple of days right at 50. So a nice little bit of a warm up. Rain and snow possible Tuesday and Wednesday next week. For the Blackfoot area, we're in the 50s starting Saturday. And we'll keep those 50s with us through Monday. There is a chance of rain Tuesday and Wednesday for the Teton area. More sunshine we know what to do with. Beautiful spring skiing or spring like skiing, at least for the weekend. Highs topping out in the mid 40s on Monday. Chance of snow Tuesday and Wednesday. And for the Central Mountains, we are dry and we are warming up a little bit. Sunday and Monday, highs in the lower 50s. Looks like Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, there's a chance of some rain and snow.